Here's a treat for those of you who are fans of Hoover Elites. This is my Hoover C1403. I'm not going to say this is the only one out there because that's totally unrealistic. And a couple of years ago I did see one of these on eBay. But this is the only one I've seen in a collection on the online vacuum communities. In fact, if you uh, Google search for Hoover C1403, just about the only things you'll find will be brochures and uh, pictures of this very vacuum on vacuum land under my username broomvac. This is the commercial variant of Hoover's first ever Elite, the Elite 200, and although it's very similar to its residential counterpart, there are some key differences. Rather than the off-white of the Hoover Elite 200, the C1403 wears this bright high visibility orange which was the theme of Hoover's commercial lineup in the 80s and early 90s. At 35 feet, the cord on the Hoover C1403 is not only substantially longer than that on the Hoover Elite 200, but also more robust. You can tell just by feeling the insulation that it's a lot thicker. The cord also has this huge strain relief to keep it from getting frayed where it enters the handle. Another key difference is this huge upper cord hook, which, unlike that on the Elite 200, doesn't rotate. Now the design of this is twofold. The large upper portion is there so that way you can coil up the large 35 foot cord and just hang it from the upper hook without having to wind it fully around both cord hooks. The lower portion enables the vacuum to hang on to a hotel housekeeping cart. Finally, this vacuum is double insulated, which I believe is what ultimately earns it the commercial label. From the first four digits of the serial number, we can see that this vacuum was made in January of 1991. I have replaced a few parts on this vacuum. For one, the cord that you see is actually not the one that it came with from the factory. Although it has the same part number, um, it is a new old stock replacement. Also, I did replace the fan with a new old stock seven bladed fan and I changed the motor housing and fan housing for identical parts but the later ones came in the black plastic rather than the gray plastic. The only truly non-original part that I've put in this vacuum is the motor itself. Sadly, I don't have the original but the replacement I used is from a Hoover Spirit and that motor draws something on the order of 7 amps versus uh, the 5 amps that the original motor in this vacuum would have drawn. It's worth mentioning that after this model came the updated version, Hoover's C1404, which uh, had a much longer production run than the C1403. Some of the differences between that vacuum and this uh, include the bag. The C1404 came with a side zip bag, whereas this one has a slide top bag. The C1404 also came with a dual row brush roll, whereas this has the single row with a beater bar. Overall, I'm very pleased to have this unique piece of Hoover history in my collection.